4th of January 2019, Friday. This is a Chihuahua, male, not neutered, 13 years old. So what's the complaint? Uh, there's the, like a lump here, yeah. there. there's a fluid. I don't understand why. Okay. Yeah. Only this side, the other side don't have. Okay, this is not sterilized, male, okay. We come over here. I don't know what's wrong with the... We come, we come for the dog. We go the head, we go the head. Okay, this is called perineal hernia. Wait, you like to go first? Perineal hernia means the, the muscle there, there's a, there's a hole. So it is uh, split open and then inside uh, the intestines, the rectum, or even the bladder can come out from there. So in male dogs, not sterilized. Yeah. As I tell you, this is a. Uh, only happens in male dogs, or 99% not sterilized. Uh. Apparently, there's a hormone, the male hormones, weaken the muscle. There's a muscle uh, defect there. Mm. You know, the muscles, all these muscles, the vertical muscles. Uh. So, the male hormones weaken it. So, once it's weakened, mm. the intestines, the rectum come out. And, uh, okay, hold up it first. And uh, put it down first. Then, uh, which side? Right, left. It was this side, the left, the right. left, right side. So to prove it, it's quite easy. You push it back, then there's nothing really. There you see, ah, nothing really. The defect is gone. Eh? Sometimes they happen in both sides. This one happened one side. Eh? Mm. Yeah, gone really, no more. Because the, there's a hole there. Okay. Oh. If we have sterilized the dog when he was young. 90% or 99 this doesn't happen. No? Oh, so the solution is to open up, stitch up the defect, no? to prevent the, the rectum and the bladder from coming out. No? And then of course sterilize the dog. Sterilize him? Have to? Uh? You don't have to, uh, but you will recur again. You know? ah. I'm going to come back on this side. No, I'm just saying that this is due to the male dogs hormones because when they sterilize the male hormones is no more there so this is uh, almost an instant diagnosis huh? instant diagnosis means when you shave the hair you can see already now I push back so it's not so swollen you see there you feel it it's not so swollen already yeah uh, because there's a defect uh, the, the muscle hole there mm. between the muscle there's a defect that means it's split open uh. mm. and uh, Usually what comes out is the rectum, the fat, there's some fat, abdominal fat, and uh, some of the blood. Mm. Can the dog pee? Can. Can he, can he poop? I really never check whether he poop or not. No, normally because there are three, there's few dogs in our house, uh, so I never really check it. But Sometimes he cannot poop, then the owner thinks it's constipation. But actually yeah. it's not constipation. I also scared he cannot poop, that's why Did I you see? come here. You will know, right? I never check, I have to ask the others whether they see it. No, I just have a quick examination. That's cataract due to old age, you can see. Yeah. He bites a lot, huh? no. Huh? Some just, do bite. He just not happy uh, sometimes. Mm, the teeth not done. You didn't do the teeth. Huh? No. The dental not done. Okay. Do a quick check for the health first. Mm. Yeah. Any coughing? Sometimes, mm. uh, not, not all the time. Uh. Looks like he has a very good appetite, you can see his mm. size. Uh. Yeah. He has a bit of a fat side, uh. <laughs> yeah, which is good. Uh, for, that means it's not skinny or, or sick. Oh uh, yeah, he can still eat, uh, yeah. so that's why okay. his appetite is still check good. Check the heart, check the heart. Uh, good, the heart is good. Not like the other old dog, just now. Mm. Lungs good, no coughing. Uh. Mm. Not really coughing, but sometimes only. Now the abdominal palpation, you have you heard it right? Abdominal palpation is just to use the hand to, to feel the yeah. liver, the spleen. Uh, and you can feel the stools also. Whether you can ever move, move his bowels and all that, just feel. Uh, see there's no pain, no reaction. No lungs, no swelling. Okay, nothing. Uh, whether he passed motion or let me check. Yeah, he did. He did, ah? Uh? Mm. So this one of those lucky ones. Oh, there's a bit of pain inside, I saw him. Mm. Probably his prostate. You just see the reaction I see. Uh? Mm. Now I'm feeling towards the prostate. 
I don't see it in movie sleep. There's a pain there in the prostate. This prostate is enlarged because old, old men and old dogs, uh, male dogs, I mean. Sometimes they have prostate infection, uh, enlargement, enlargement. But not very much painful, not very painful. So overall, I would say it's okay, uh, except for this. Uh. Now if you don't operate it every day, you push back in. Uh. Yeah, no, no more, you see? You push back in. Eh? No, just push back in every day. Mm. Oh, then you just hold it and push back in. Will you feel pain or not if I push it back? You won't feel the pain, uh, but it looks like it's, it's already irritated. Is it? You see yeah, the redness here? Eh? Mm. Oh, redness here. You come to this area. Mm. Huh? This is due to top leaking. Really. Maybe there's some discomfort or pain there. Eh? Some of them they leak here until the place is bought. Mm. Uh, I did saw okay. he keep doing that. Oh, when, yeah, uh, irritated, yeah. Yeah, like, like quite a number of times. Uh. When recently, right? Uh, actually, like two, like few weeks back, Take few clipper, months back also. Mm. Did the clipper here first? Clipper to clip the swelling up. Quick one. I will just show you the swelling. Uh. Yeah. How the tongue now is it pale? Is it purple? Now, according to my nurse, come open the mouth. It won't bite. Just slowly, just ah, open the lid. Just, just open a bit and let it a bit. Okay, the gums only. Ah, because intern is supposed mm. to be hands on. Right? This side can. Can any side will do. Okay, Let's see the tongue. Is it purplish? Yeah. A bit, now. Okay, that might be shaved. Huh? Okay. Sometimes they are frightened. They become purple. Here, yeah, come. We need to take a blood test first, huh? before surgery. Huh? Hold the tail. Hold the tail. Come. Put the hand under, under. Uh, just a quick shave, no? okay, quick shave upwards, yeah. Just to show the owner the swearing both sides, of course. No? So, I no, don't know should I... Let me be shave for you first. Okay, I can tell you what, what are the possibilities of not, not operating. Uh. Mm -hmm. Let's say suddenly the whole thing got twisted. You know the bladder get trapped inside, right? Then it comes full, right? Then the bladder turns inside, right? twisted, that means due to the big space there. Then the dog can't pass urine and then you will just yeah. die. Then uh, the other one is sometimes the intestine, the rectum uh, or the intestine go trapped inside, right? then it twisted. Uh. Then you have a problem because that time is, is emergency already. I mean the dog not in a good health. Uh. Mm. Or then you operate. Okay, really, just mm -hmm. see the... Okay. Just let the owner see. No, just let it stand properly first. Mm. I put the tail up. You can see it. Let me see. No wait. You, you, you go in front and hold, hold the dog. Let the owner see. Okay. Okay. No, just put it one hand under the dog. Okay, you no, put one hand. Under. Under. Put one hand under. No, you put one hand under first. Just like he's standing normally, lah. No. No, no, the same stand normally. Stand normally. They put the tail up. No. It's obvious. It's like nothing. Some dogs, both sides swollen. This is a perineal hernia, can you remember? Uh, perineal hernia. This looks like a, This I can tell is quite a recent one because if it's a long time one, uh, mm. this place will all bought, bought up, all bought and then full of a redness. Oh. And then the dog won't be too happy. So, but now you can see there's a bit of licking here. There. Mm. there the hair is gone. Mm. Compared to this side, this is a normal side. The muscle is still okay. Mm. Now, the, the, the reason I ask you to, to neuter him because mm. What happened is sometimes maybe two or three months later, this part, the uh, hernia, you see, mm. uh, it comes, it comes yeah, and that's swelling. Like ah, then you got to have two problems already. Right? Well, now, I mean, you can just push in, you see that? Mm. You push everything in. Hernia, if it's hernia, you can push everything in. If it's a tumor, of course, you're going to push everything in. Uh. But how do you know whether it's a tumor or it's a hernia? Uh, if it's a tumor, you cannot push everything in. No. Oh. You cannot push anything in, then you come inside. Uh. Come. I'll just show you. I'll put one hand below and put, put the dog up a bit. Uh, then you can push everything in. You see the hernia. Hernia, you can reduce it. Uh, uh. mm. No more already. A bit of discomfort here. Yeah. Actually, I can see that this portion is uh, mm. a bit swollen. Now, this is part of the intestines and to the fat. Uh. Came out. Yeah, yeah, through the hole there, in between the muscle there. This one, can you feel the hole? Show her the hole. There's a cavity like that, the tunnel like that. 
I don't have. Here is normal, it didn't split open. Oh. Have you heard of hernias? Some people have it below the belly there. I kind of roughly know what uh. you're saying. Uh. Where's the hole? Uh? Do you feel it? Sometimes we uh, the belly, uh, have, uh, uh, the belly. have to put it in. Uh, the belly. Okay. So you're lucky to see that. Uh. Not, not very common nowadays. But no, most dogs are neutered. Most male dogs in Singapore are sterilized already. Mm -hmm. And occasionally you find one, because the owner feels that it's cruel to... Uh, yeah. Of course, you <laughs> don't have any companion, uh, but just... No, it's just that they feel it's cruel. The other... Uh, you, 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 out, eh? uh, <laughs> you hold... The other thing is tumors here. We call it the circuminal tumor. Only male dogs who are not sterilized, they get it. But not every male dog, of course. Mm -hmm. This one is nothing. Mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing wrong with it. So uh. it's best to sterilize and then also stitch this. No, stitch up, then uh, third normally I wait till another day because if it's too long, uh, the fellow might not be able to take, it. take the anesthetic. Uh. This one really take about half an hour. Really. Actually, I'm just afraid that if let's uh. say he cannot... Uh, this is the risk take you have to... Uh, surgery how? Uh, you have to uh, think about it. You know, this I don't rush you into it.